Welcome to Fight Master Yoga. I'm Leslie. We're going to start sitting up nice and tall today. Have two blocks and a strap handy. Don't forget to give us a like and hit the subscribe button plus the notification bell so you never miss a new Fight Master Yoga video. Let's get ready to feel better. Close your eyes, bring your hands together in front of your hearts. May our practice connect our breath and our movements, bringing us into the present moment, helping our bodies to become stronger and more flexible, both on and off of our mats. Add any intention you wish, and then grab your strap and make your way onto your back. Bend both knees, feet on the floor, then draw your right knee into your chest. Your left leg can stay bent or straighten it out. Circle the right ankle in one direction and reverse the other direction. If you have the left leg straight, be sure to point your toes up to the ceiling. And then grab your strap, taking it onto the ball of your right foot. And then extend your right leg up toward the ceiling Hold on to the strap and draw your right hip forward. Flex the ankle and straighten out the leg as much as you can comfortably and as long as the knee is not locked. My leg's a little bit bent today. I was feeling tight this morning. <laughs> Take your left hand on top of your left thigh so take just a couple more breaths here. Keeping the left leg on top of the left thigh, begin to open the right leg to the right, but keep your left hip grounded down. And then look over the left shoulder unless it bothers your neck. So open the right leg as much, much as you comfortably can. So we get into the outer right hip, starting to stretch it out a little bit. Keep your breath nice and steady. Inhale the leg back to center. Switch hands with your strap and exhale, bring it across to the left side, looking over the right shoulder. And keep drawing your right hip forward. As you draw the right hip forward, turn your belly up toward the ceiling and to help intensify your twist a little, as long as it's not too intense. Inhale, bring your leg back to center. And then exhale, start to lift the head and shoulders off the mat, pull the belly in, engaging belly muscles, and then bend the right leg and put the strap off to your left side. Interlace your fingers, hold on to your right thigh, behind the thigh. Draw the leg into the belly and then start to reach your foot away. So it's almost like you're doing a lunge upside down. So use a little arm strength to pull your leg into your belly and then use a little leg strength to reach the leg away. So you're kind of fighting with yourself a bit and then release. That gets into the upper hamstrings. So we'll draw the left knee into the chest, keeping the right knee bent, circle left ankle, or you can straighten out the right leg and switch directions with your circle. And then we'll grab the strap again, taking it onto the ball of the left foot and begin to extend the left leg up. Remember, as you extend the left leg up toward the ceiling, draw your left hip forward. So I actually use my hand to help draw the hip crease forward. And that way I know that's what's happening. And flex your left ankle and make sure if your leg is straight that you're pointing the right toes up to the ceiling as well. As you hold the strap in your left or both hands, relax your shoulders away from the ears. Take a couple deep breaths. Take your right hand on top of your right leg as you open the left leg to the left. And then start to look over the right shoulder, unless, unless it bothers the neck. Keep your right hip grounded down, even if that means that you don't go quite so deeply into the stretch. Take another breath here. Again, relax the shoulders and the jaw. And inhale to the, bring the leg back to center. Switch hands with your strap, exhale, bring it over to the right, but continue to draw your left hip forward as you do. Look over the left shoulder 
and breathe here as you turn your belly up toward the ceiling. Your right leg may be turning toward the right side as well. It's fine. Just keep the ankle flexed there as well. And inhale through center. As you exhale, lift the head and shoulders, drawing the leg in. Pull the belly in as well. One more breath. And release it. Take the strap off to the side. Draw your left knee into the chest. Interlacing fingers behind the thigh. So once again, you're going to draw the thigh to the belly. And then extend your left leg up toward the ceiling, flexing the ankle. So almost like you're doing a high lunge, but on your back. So use your arm strength to pull the leg down. And then use some leg strength. It's almost like you're trying to straighten your leg, but your arms won't let that happen and then release. Extend both legs out for a moment and then bend both knees. Heels under knees, arms by your sides, pull your belly in. Start to lift your hip bones toward the lower ribs and then inhale to lift into just a gentle bridge and then exhale, lower down. Make sure the outer edges of your feet are parallel. So once again, little pelvic tilt, lifting hip bones to low ribs. Inhale to lift, spiral the thighs in toward each other. Exhale to lower vertebra by vertebra. So pressing firmly into the heels as you inhale and lift. Lengthen your sitting bones toward the backs of the knees. Exhale to lower back down. Now face your palms in towards your body thumbs up and then inhale begin to lift again as you reach the arms up and over but watch that your rib cage doesn't puff up so keep the ribs down as you exhale start to slowly lower bringing the arms back down along the sides of your body we're going to do that twice more inhale begin to lift spiral your thighs in lengthen sitting bones towards backs of knees exhale lower down slowly if your shoulders are tight, maybe don't take your arms so far up and over. Inhale, lift, reach the arms over as much as you can while keeping your ribs in. Exhale, lower down vertebra by vertebra, all the way down, and then hug your knees into your chest. Just gently rock yourself side to side. Now roll yourself to your right side. And using your left hand, press yourself up. Let your head come up last. You come up very carefully. Cross at the shins and roll forward. We'll make our way into extended child's pose. So spread out your fingers and take your hips back to your heels. As you spread your fingers wide, press onto the base of your fingers. Lift through your forearms. Arms engage. Now keep the hands right where they are. Come up onto the hands and knees. Turn your inner elbows gently forward. Tuck your toes and lift, keeping your knees bent in down dog. So hips are high. And then stretch out the right leg. Keep the left knee bent. And then stretch out the left leg. Keep the right knee bent. Bending both knees, stretch back. And then straighten the right leg. Bend both knees, stretch back, hips high. Straighten the left leg. Bend both knees, hips high, and reach both heels down. Arms are shoulders distance. Feet are hips width apart. Heels don't have to touch. They're just going in that direction. Pull the ribs and belly in, arms and ears in line. Look forward and then take some steps to walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, look up to lengthen and fold as you exhale, bending the knees as needed. Press through the feet and rise up as you inhale. And exhale, samastitihi. We're going to do a pranayama practice called Agnisara. So we'll bend the knees in a moment. You're going to exhale in a moment, all the air out. Then pull your belly in and up as much as you can and hold the breath out. So first take a comfortable inhale through the nose. And then exhale it all out. Exhale, 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 exhale. When you're totally empty, pull the belly in and up. Let the belly hollow out. Hold the breath out. Lift the pelvic floor muscles. Hold it, hold it if you can. And then let the belly drop. Inhale. 
And we'll do it again. Exhale everything out. Exhale, exhale, exhale until you're totally empty. And then pull the belly in and up. Hollow it out. Pull up as much as you can. So you're using your belly muscles. This is great for strengthening belly muscles and for digestion. Hold it. Release the belly. Inhale. And then exhale everything out. Exhale, exhale till you're completely empty. Once you're empty, pull it in, pull it up. Lift the pelvic floor muscles. Hold. So all the breath is out. You're holding your belly in and up. Really engaging those belly muscles. And then drop the belly. Inhale. And then exhale again. Exhaling, exhaling till you're empty. Pull the belly in and up. Hold. Lift the pelvic floor Holding. And then drop the belly. Inhale. And exhale one more time. Exhale, exhale till you're totally empty. Pull it in, pull it up. Hold. Lift the pelvic floor muscles. Keep holding. Do the best that you can. If you need to release it sooner, it's fine. Do as much as you can. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. Drop the belly. Inhale. Come to the top of the mat in Tadasana. Feet together or hip socket distance apart. Firm the legs. Lift the belly. Inhale. Sweep the arms up. Keep the ribs in. Exhale, hinge forward from your hips and fold over the legs. Inhale, look up to lengthen. Exhale, just step your left foot back. Take the left knee down. Inhale, reach up. Make sure the right knee is over the ankle. Pull the right hip back as you stretch up. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Come to plank pose, top of a push-up. Drop the knees down, shift the shoulders forward, hug the elbows in as you lower to the floor. Hands by low ribs. Inhale, little baby cobra, lengthen tailbone to heels. Exhale, press up to the knees and then stretch back into down dog. On your inhale, lift your left leg back and up from the inner thigh so hips are level. Exhale, step it all the way. If it doesn't make it, pick it up, put it there. Take your right knee to the floor. Make sure the left knee is over the ankle as you come up. Pull the left hip back, pull the belly in, drop the tailbone down. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor, step your right foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, look up. As you exhale, fold, press through the feet, rise up on your inhale, stretch tall, lengthen the tailbone, and exhale to Samastitihi, which means steady balance. Back to Tadasana. Inhale, circle the arms up. As you exhale, hinge forward from the hips and fold into Uttanasana. Look up, lengthen on your inhale. Now step your right foot back. Take the right knee down. Left knee is over ankle. As you rise up into your low lunge, sink forward. Pull the left hip back. This time, face the palms to the front. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale, sweep the arms around, reach up. Turn the palms face front. Exhale, bend and open. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Face the palms to the front. Exhale like you're scraping elbows on the back wall. Pull them down. Bring your hands to the mat. Come to plank pose. Now we're going to slowly lower all the way to the floor. Hug the elbows in as you lower. Try to have everything touch down at once. Hands by low ribs. Press all ten toes down. Inhale, cobra low or high as long as it's okay on your back. Otherwise, stay with low cobra. Then lower down. Tuck your toes under. Take a breath in. Exhale. Press to plank. And then lift yourself back into down dog. Inhale. We'll float the right leg back and up, lifting from the inner thigh. As you exhale, step it all the way up by the right hand. Take the left knee down. Make sure the right knee is over your ankle. Inhale. Reach up nice and tall. So first, palms facing each other, arrow straight arms, pull your right hip back, ribs in, then face the palms to the front. On your next exhale, open the chest, pull the elbows down. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up. Exhale, pull the elbows down, open the chest. Inhale, sweep the arms around, reach tall. Exhale, pull the elbows open, and now take the hands down. Step your back foot all the way to the front, then inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold in. Press down to rise up on your inhale, reach up tall, keep those ribs in. Exhale, bring the hands down to Samastitihi. 
feet together or hip socket distance apart still. Inhale, bend the knees, sit back into chair pose. Exhale, belly to thighs and now straighten the legs. Look up, lengthen as you inhale. On the exhale, step both feet back to plank pose. Lower chaturanga, shoulders no lower than the elbows. Then inhale, shoulders above wrists and up dog or stick with cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Lift your right leg back and up on your inhale. As you exhale, step it up. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Come into a high lunge. Take a moment to bend your back knee. Tilt your pelvis forward a little. Keep that and then straighten through the back leg. Pull the right hip back. Take a breath here. Let your shoulder blades relax a bit. Exhale, make your way to plank. Hug your elbows in through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, thighs and knees off the floor if you're an up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. Inhale, lifting the left leg back and up from the inner thigh. As you exhale, step it all the way up by the hand. Stay on the ball of your back foot, rise up. Make sure your left knee's over your ankle. Bend the back knee, tilt the pelvis forward, pull the belly in, straighten through the back leg, keep pulling your left hip back. Reach up through arrow straight arms. Take another breath here. Pressing into the front heel, take the hands to the mat, make your way to plank and lower chaturanga. Inhale, press through hands and feet. Exhale, lift up and back again to downward facing dog. Stretch all the way back here. Pull your ribs and belly in and up. Firm your leg muscles. Inner thighs spin back gently. As you spread your fingers, press down into the base of the fingers, but lift up through the forearms. Now take your feet about as wide as your mat. Stretch back, maybe a little more length through your spine and hamstrings this way. And then begin to walk your feet, or walk your hands, sorry, back to your feet in malasana. So you're gonna drop your butt down but turn your toes out if you need to so that the middle of your kneecap is lined up with the middle of your toes. Then lengthen through your spine. So instead of letting your back round, keep it straight. Bring your right hand down, reach your left arm up, little twist. Now if you can't get that low into malasana, it's fine. Go as low as you can. You can even sit on your block. Inhale back through center. And then we'll take the left hand down and the right arm up to twist. Keep dropping the hips down, open through the chest. Inhale, make your way back to center. Keep lifting the chest. And then slowly walk yourself back out into downward dog. So walk your feet again to hips width, arms, shoulders distance. Stretch yourself out. And then come to plank as you inhale. Step your feet together. Roll to the pinky toe side of your right foot and lift your left arm up. You can take your bottom knee down to the floor for more support. Bring your top hip gently forward. Lengthen your sitting bones to the heels. Take another breath here. And then taking the hand back to the side, make your way back to plank. Stay in plank or lower chaturanga, press up to plank for the second side. Feet together, roll to the pinky toe side of the left foot, right arm reaching up. Remember, you can take your left knee down to the floor for more support. Draw your right hip gently forward so hips are lined up. Lengthen the crown of the head forward. Lengthen your sitting bones toward the heels. Bring yourself back into plank and lower chaturanga, then inhaling upward dog or cobra, and tuck the toes, stretch back into down dog. Again, lengthening through the spine. When we started filming today, it was nice and cloudy and overcast and cool, then the sun came out. <laughs> Look forward, step the feet forward, take an inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Bend the knees, drop the hips, inhale, reach up, and to standing samastitihi. Got pretty hot <laughs> by the end. Turn to face the long side of the mat. Turn your, step your feet out nice and wide. Then turn your right leg all the way out and the back toes in. Line up front heel with back arch. Inhale, take your arms to shoulder height. Exhale, bend the right knee over the ankle. Make sure that knee is over the ankle and pointed straight ahead over the middle toes. Press your back thigh back, but lift your back inner thigh up gently. 
Lean your torso forward, take right forearm to right thigh, take the left arm straight up. Pull your belly in, reach your right arm forward so it comes off the leg. Use your belly muscles to help you stay in this position. Right ribs forward, left ribs back. Then inhale to warrior two. Drop the left arm, reverse your warrior, bend the right knee. Inhale, straighten the right leg, reverse triangle. Next inhale, come up, set up for triangle, shorter stance if you like to. Hinge from your hip crease, reach, reach, reach out and down. Use a block if you wish behind your right ankle and stretch your left arm up. Or you can take your hand to the shin, foot, or floor. Lengthen the side body, especially from the right hip crease through the right armpit. Then inhale, reach your left arm forward in line with your ear. As you exhale, take it all the way back to the hip, the palms facing up. Inhale, reach it forward, lengthen. Exhale, bring it back to the hip. Long breath, inhale, take it forward. Now reach your right arm forward too, if you can. Again, you gotta use your belly muscles to help support you. Inhale, come on up. If you're using your block, take it to the other side. Left leg all the way out, back to us in slightly. Lengthen your stance if you shortened it for a triangle. And then exhale, bend the left knee over the ankle for warrior two. Make sure your feet are lined up front heel with back arch. Gaze over the fingertips, lift the back inner thigh up. Knee in line with middle toes. And then leaning forward, take the forearm to the thigh reaching up through the right arm. Turn your belly up toward the ceiling a little bit if you can. Keep pressing into the front heel firmly. Reach the left arm forward if possible. Pull your belly in and up to help support you. Look up toward the other hand if you can. Inhale back to warrior two and then reverse your warrior, dropping the right arm, bending the left knee. Now straighten the left leg, stay for the exhale. Inhale, come on up, set for triangle pose, walk it in if you wish. Hinge from the hip crease, reach, reach, reach out, and then down. Take the hand to shin, foot, floor, or block, stretch up through the right arm. See if you can lengthen now from your left hip crease through the left armpit, bringing bottom ribs forward, spinning top ribs back. Press into the big toe mound of the front foot, reach the right arm forward, inhale. Exhale, bring it all the way back to the hip. And again, inhale, sweep it forward, nice long breath. Exhale, sweep it back to the hip. As you inhale, reaching up and over, stretching it out, lengthening through the side body. Exhale, take it back to the hip. And then inhale, bring it forward. You can stay right here or also lift the left arm up. Keep pressing into the big toe mound of the left foot. Keep the left leg engaged, but knee unlocked. Inhale, come on up. You move your blocks out of the way. And bring your feet, toes out, heels in. Drop your hips down. Lift your hip bones toward the low ribs. Take arms to shoulder height. And then take your left arm on top of the right. Lifting the elbows, widening through the collarbones. Press your knees back and drop your hips down. Keep the legs as they are. Inhale, both arms up. And then palms facing down as you take them halfway down and switch. Other arm on top. So that's your right arm, I think. Keep lifting the elbows, lifting the chest. Press the knees back, drop your butt down. So keep lifting hip bones toward the low ribs. Release the arms, reach them up, sink down, and then slowly straighten the legs. Take the arms to shoulder height, take an inhale. Step or hop your feet together and turn back to the front of your mat. You can take your blocks with you if you wish. Actually, do have blocks toward the front of the mat because you might want them in a moment. First, tree pose. Right leg up, left leg down. Take the right leg anywhere above or below the knee. Slippery pants today make a more challenging tree. <laughs> Inhale, sweep the arms up. Press the foot into the leg, the leg back into the foot. Squeeze the left hip in towards center. Drop the right hip down. Keep a steady gaze, something that isn't moving. 
Now point the knee to the front, extend the leg out, keep dropping the outer right hip down, squeezing the left hip in. And then slowly begin to bring it behind you. As you get it behind you, lift it from the inner thigh, drop the outer right hip down, point the toes to the ground. You can keep the arms in front or sweep them back a little easier, but lift the shoulder heads, keep using your belly to help support you. And then inhale to center. Second side, ground through the right leg. And we'll pick up the left, taking it anywhere above or below the knee. Make sure the outer right foot is parallel with the outside of the mat. Slippery pants. Drop the left hip down, squeeze the right hip in, reach the arms up whenever you're steady. Keep the ribs pulling in, keep the belly pulling in, and keep a steady gaze. Now keeping your steady gaze, point the knee forward, extend the leg forward. Hold it up, keep dropping the outer left hip down. Keep the legs firm, keep the gaze steady, start to sweep it back. When you get it back there, lift it from the inner thigh, drop the outer hip down so hips are level. Reaching forward through the fingertips, through the leg, and you can also sweep the arms back if you wish. Keep ribs and belly and lift shoulder heads. Inhale, make your way back to center. A little balance. So like I mentioned, you want to have a block by the front of the mat if you've got one. Back to Tadasana. Take a moment just to remember your intention. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, step or float back, find chaturanga. Inhale, press through the hands and feet. And exhale to downward facing dog, stretching back. As you inhale, float the right leg back and up from the inner thigh. Keep the hips level. Exhale, draw the knee in, shoulders over wrist. Hold it a moment, pull the belly in to support you. And then sweep it up right in the middle of the hands. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, make sure your heel to arch, knee is over ankle, then drop the left arm reverse. Keep reversing again, straight in the front leg. And inhale, come up, set up again for triangle, shorten the stance if you like. Hinge from your hip crease, reach out and down. Stretch through the left arm. Keep your torso long, lengthening from crown of the head through the navel. Now take your left hand to your hip, find your block, bend your front knee floating the back leg up. Your block is probably about 12 inches in front of you or so. The back leg, heel and hip about in the same line. Stretch up through the top arm. And then bend the front knee and slowly to warrior two. Make sure you've lined up heel to arch, knees over ankle and then windmill the arms down and make your way to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling up and exhaling back. As you take your next inhale, lift the left leg up from the inner thigh. Keep the outer hip dropping down so your hips are level. As you exhale, bring it forward, thigh toward belly, shoulders over wrists. Use your belly muscles to hold you and then step it right in the middle of the hand. Spin the back heel down. Make sure your heel to arch. Arms at shoulder height. And then reverse your warrior, bending into the left knee. Keep reversing and straighten the leg. And inhale to come up, set up for triangle. Hinging from your hip crease, reach out, reach out, and then down. Stretching up through the right arm. Bottom ribs forward, top ribs back, lengthen your torso. Now take right hand to hip, bending the left knee. Bring your block forward in front of you on the little toe side of the foot. Float the back leg up. Flex the back foot, maybe extend the top arm if you're steady. Heel and hip about in the same line. And lengthen your sitting bone toward the heel of the lifted leg. Slowly bend the left leg and make your way into warrior two. Make sure your knees over your ankle, windmill the arms down and come to plank. Lower through chaturanga, inhaling up dog and tuck the toes, stretch back into down dog. 
Stretching back for a couple breaths. Make sure your legs are firm. Outer upper arms spinning back. Inner upper arms spinning forward. Press a little extra into the thumb first finger side of the hand. Keep your belly pulled in as you come to plank. Feet together. Back to side plank. We're going to roll to the pinky toe side of the right foot. Lift the left arm up. Remember, you can always take the bottom knee down. Or you could add left leg into tree and left arm in line with ear. Keep lifting up through the hips. Pull the belly in. Slippery pants. Not good for this one. <laughs> now we're going to come to plank. You can keep that leg in tree if possible. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog tree and then release it as you make your way into down dog. Stretching back here. We're gonna do the other side. So pull in through the ribs and belly, come to plank pose, step the feet together, roll to the pinky toe side of your left foot, lift your right arm up. Remember, you can always put the left knee down. If you like, right leg up to the inner thigh, Reach right arm forward, stretching out the side body. Press that foot into the leg and then lift the leg up into the foot. Lengthen sitting bones to heels. Make your way to plank pose. Keep the tree if you can through chaturanga. Inhaling up dog tree and then exhaling, release it in down dog. Stretching back. Remember, you can always push the pause button and rest. Take a child's pose whenever you want one. Let's come on to the knees and grab a block if you have it. Bring your palms flat with your thumbs on the bottom of the block and fingers on the sides. Then tuck your toes and make your way into dolphin pose. Stretch back here. Lift your shoulders up towards your hips. Press into the forearms, especially the inner forearm, thumb and first finger side of the hand. As you continue spinning triceps back, and biceps forward. Draw the ribs and belly and step back about a foot. Inhale, come to forearm plank. Step your feet together. Lengthen butt to heels. Pull the belly and keep the back of your neck long. Take another breath here. Really strengthening the core. Now walk your feet in, lift your hips up, come back into dolphin. And then we'll take a little rest in child's pose. You can rest your head on the mat or your head on your hands or on your block and take a couple long breaths here. Because we're doing it again. <laughs> take the hands to the floor, palms flat, thumb underneath at the bottom of the block. Tuck the toes, lift up and back. So the block helps to keep the hands from going in toward each other. You just pay attention that your elbows do not go wider than your shoulders. Step back about a foot. Inhale again, ripple the spine forward to dolphin plank. Shoulder blades toward the waist. Your hips and shoulders about in the same line. Remember to lift the backs of your knees up. If it gets to be too much, you can always drop them down. Just a couple more breaths, you got this. Pull in through the belly, firm the legs, lift the pelvic floor muscles, engaging all the muscles to help support you. And then walk the feet in, lift the hips up, back to dolphin, and then back to the knees. We'll take another little rest in child's pose. And then extending the arms forward, spread the fingers nice and wide, come to the knees, tuck the toes, and come to down dog. Arms, shoulders, distance, feet, hips, width. You can always stay right here in down dog or vinyasa. Inhale to plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog or cobra, exhale back into downward facing dog. Stretching back, look forward. We're gonna step or hop and come to seated. And make your way onto your back. Make sure you have your block next to you or someplace where you know where it is. Heels under knees, outer edges of feet parallel. Press down into the heels, pull the belly and lift the hip bones up toward the low ribs as you come up into bridge pose. This time, if you'd like, roll the shoulders under, interlacing fingers, spiral the thighs in. Keep the chin away from the chest. Keep the neck nice and long. 
If interlacing fingers doesn't work, no worries. Keep your palms down on the mat or grab the sides of the mat with your hands and pull apart. Lengthening tailbone towards backs of knees, release the hands and lower down. Soles of feet together, knees apart, hand on the heart center, hand on the belly. Take a moment here to think of three things that you are grateful for today. Any three things. Studies have shown that being in touch with what you're grateful for gives you a better sense of happiness and peace in your life. We'll take the feet back down. Again, heels under knees, arms by your sides. Or if you want to take Urdhva Dhanurasana, I'll show you how to set up. Hands by ears, fingers forward. First, press down to come onto the crown of the head. Line up your wrists and your elbows and then start to come up. Toes in. Don't let the toes turn out. If that doesn't work for you, then you come into bridge pose. The shoulders rolling under if you're in bridge pose if possible. Lift the chest, lengthen your sitting bones towards the backs of the knees. If you're in Urdhva Dhanurasana, still lengthen sitting bones toward backs of knees and spiral the thighs down in bridge and in Urdhva. And then we'll release and come down. Soles feet together, knees apart to rest. Again, hand on the heart center, hand on belly. As you breathe here, think of something that you truly would love to have or do or be, your heart's desire, what is it? Once you know what that is, take a moment to say out louder to yourself, I am so grateful that I have or that I'm doing or that I get to be and say what it is you want to bring into your life. Say it again. And then bring your knees back up. Grab your block and take it to the base of the spine. Supported bridge pose. Breathe here with your nice open heart energy. You can even say your intention again. I'm so grateful that I have or that I am or that I'm doing whatever it is you want to bring in. It's a good time to create those intentions because if the universe never hears them the universe doesn't know what to give you so you got to tell the universe what you want so just resting in supported bridge if you don't have a block you can rest on your back or in a bridge pose your choice and then with the block either at the lowest or the medium height bend the knees and stretch the legs up toward the ceiling you don't have a block you can just lift the legs from on your back and inhale take the legs wide flexing the ankles so outer hips and inner thighs can get a little stretch here we'll hold for another breath and then next inhale bring the legs back together so it's good to Reverse the flow of gravity or reverse gravity's hold on your body. So when you take your legs up like this, you're giving them a little break. Bend the knees in, take the feet down, lift off your block, and roll yourself down. Plus it's good to relieve stress, believe it or not. Hug your knees into your chest, rock a little side to side. And then one hand on your right shin, one hand on your left shin. Bring the knees away from the belly and inhale, bring them in. Exhale, take them away. Inhale, bring the legs to the belly. Exhale, extend them. Inhale, bring them in toward the belly. Exhale, release. Inhale, draw them in. Release them away. Inhale, bring them into the belly. And then begin to roll back and forth. If that doesn't work, roll to your right and come up, pressing up. Then, hands facing forward behind you, feet flat on the floor. Press yourself into reverse table. Lift up. Let your head go back if it's okay on your neck. Lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees. Then extend right leg out. Bend the right knee. Take it just above the left knee and sit your bottom down. 
So you can walk yourself forward to feel more of a hip stretch or walk yourself back if it's too intense. You can even hang out on your forearms. But draw your right hip forward and make sure your right ankle is flexed. Keep your spine really long. And release it. Take your feet back to the floor, heels underneath, fingertips facing front, inhale, lift up. You can also turn your fingertips out if it bothers your wrists. Let your head go back, pull the belly in, keep lifting, lifting, and then extend the left leg out and bend the knee, take it just above the right knee, sit yourself back down. So you can stay there, you can also lean back on your forearms or walk yourself closer and you'll feel more of a hip stretch if you walk closer. Keep drawing your left hip forward and flex your left ankle as, you, as you're here. And lengthen through your spine. So make sure you're not allowing your upper back to round here. And release, extending both legs in front. Dandasana, pull the toes back and then reach up on your inhale. Hinge from your hip creases and lengthen forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to extend for Paschimottanasana. Keep your spine really long. So if you are going to lengthen in deeper, instead of thinking about bringing your head to your legs, think about bringing your belly to your thighs. And as you exhale, you can maybe come in a little bit deeper and inhale, head up and release and bending the knees roll yourself onto your back knees bent take your hips to the left and your knees to the right look over the left shoulder if you want a deeper twist you can cross your left knee on top of the right turn the belly up toward the ceiling And then bring your knees to center. Take your hips over to the right. Drop your knees off, off to the left. Look over the right shoulder as long as it's okay on your neck. Turn the belly up toward the ceiling. Remember, you can cross the right knee over the left if you want a deeper twist. And then make your way back to center. Hug your knees into your chest one more time, but lengthen sitting bones toward the floor. And then we'll make our way into our final resting pose. So lengthen through the lower back, shoulder blades toward the waist, let your feet just flop open, bring your arms by your sides with your palms facing up. Close your eyes as you settle in. Our quote comes from Mark Victor Hansen. Don't wait until everything is just right. It will never be perfect. There will always be challenges, obstacles, and less than perfect conditions. So what? Get started now. With each step you take, you will grow stronger and stronger, more and more skilled, more and more self-confident, and more and more successful. Take a rest. I'll be back in a moment. And to make little movements in your fingers and your toes. Take some longer breaths as you circle your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms overhead for a nice long stretch. And start to bend your knees. 
Roll yourself onto your right side. Thank yourself for showing up and taking your practice today, keeping your body and your mind healthy and strong. Press yourself up to seated. Cross at the shins. Bring your hands together in Anjali Mudra. Hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart center, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communication, sending out this positive energy we created today to all beings everywhere. Namaste. So glad you joined me today. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Go to fightmasteryoga.com to practice yoga every day. Fightmasteryoga.com and I'll see you on your mat then tomorrow. Enjoy your day. Hope you feel better.